Bienvenidos. Welcome. What's this? I was brought here. <laughs> okay. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. I hope uh, you feel strong today. May the 4th, I'm Arielle Wecker, and with my colleague Thomas Lynch, we are going to chair this uh, public policy forum. So, say hello to people. Hello, people. Well, as Ariel said, I'm Thomas, I, Thomas Lynch, and we are going to present today four proposals. And we invite everybody to participate. We are going to have the Q&A session as usual. And uh, here you can uh, participate uh, from with the mics and uh, if you're in the room. And if you are in uh, Zoom, you can either raise your hand or use the Q&A panel. And we also you can also send questions through the web. Now, if you don't want to come to the mic, you can still, if you, even if you are here, you can do it uh, through those means. So, there you are. So let's go uh, with uh, the presentation. Now, yes. We still needed the remote control. So we're going to have several activities today. Um, we, we had some Colombian, uh, um, Colombian uh, background, but we had to add the laser that we are celebrating today. So welcome to the new Public Policy Forum. Does this work? Okay, so here you have a QR code that you can use with your mobile phone to register in the policy list. Remember that it's absolutely open. You just need to have an email address. It's uh, free. You don't even need to be a member of LACNIC. Just uh, by coming uh, by scanning this QR, well, and there you have the link to LACNIC, uh, bid.ly uh, slash LACNIC uh, uh, CD and you, CDC, and you uh, register and you start participating. The chairs, Samas and I, evaluate the consensus of the community on the proposals. Ariel, we are Ariel, and Tomas, and First of all, we have to confirm that this session uh, absolutely adheres to the LACNIC Community Code of Conduct. And there you have the link. It's very short. And we really recommend uh, you to read it. You'll see that when you come in, they're going to scan your badge. But that's just for statistical purposes. So they're, they're going to scan your barcode. Yes, the uh, organization and the community is highly committed to promote uh, participation. So they're going to scan your badge. Just know how many people attended. And as usual, we are going to tell you that we hope that each of you may be active. Hopefully, we'll have a lot of comments. And remember that you participate on a personal basis. You don't need to be a technical expert. You don't to be, need to be a legal expert. As a matter of fact, what we've been said, saying that maybe some people get a bit uh, deterred or frightened with the word uh, uh, political. Uh, but everything we saw, or, or, or policies, um, everything that, uh, that we s say through Zoom is, uh, well, Whatever you vote is just to know whether there is consensus. So please, we ask you to participate. And don't be shy. And if you are shy, that's OK. But remember that you can still connect to any of the online uh, streaming. And uh, you could even ask questions or make comments anonymously. So please 
remember that it's very important for us uh, to promote uh, the uh, we want to hear the feedback of the community and we want to promote the interaction and we want to agree with this consensus among the community and well today uh, let me add something today the four proposals are for amendments in the manual of LACNIC that is how does LACNIC assign resources to its members so it's very important today for us to participate and again, I repeat, microphone, Q&A, raise your hands in Zoom, or send an anonymous uh, letter. OK, let's go on. The uh, LACNIC's uh, policy development process, uh, that's a PDP. So whenever I say PDP, that's what we're talking about. On Monday, we gave a tutorial with Mariela, the um, policy officer, and we are going to remind you to how the process works. Any of you in the mailing list, and if you register to the policy system, you can fill in quite a simple form. We saw that the form is uh, absolutely user-friendly. It's easy to fill in. And you fill in a form with a proposal, and you say basically if you want to modify the process itself or if you want to send a proposal so that it can be included in the manual. Basically, you fill in the manual that is sent to LACNIC, to the public policy officer. The chairs uh, give their OK, but because of language problems, not because of the contents, but rather because of the syntax, there is a possibility for the proposal to be treated in a fast track. And there, the chairs need to decide whether it's going to go through the fast track or the normal process that we see here on the screen. Once the proposal is uh, presented, then it is published. Um, and then we have eight weeks uh, for discussion. So if you're in the mailing list, we all debate and we listen to the community and uh, their say on uh, the proposal. This is one of the things that we wanted to emphasize. We need your feedback because if there are no comments, it's quite complicated. It's difficult to know whether the community agrees or not, or whether the community is just not interested in discussing a certain proposal. So just a brief message saying, I agree, I don't agree, or I think this is irrelevant, that's of great use to us, much more than if you keep silent in uh, your emails. So. We're going to have eight weeks discussion, and the proposal, if it's uh, version one, it is mandatory for it to go through a public uh, policy forum. That is, all the versions before they go to uh, phase two that you see on the screen, all the proposals need to go through those uh, eight weeks uh, for discussion in the mail, and then they have to be presented at uh, our PPF. So today we're going to have two proposals that are being presented for the first time, and then there are two of version two with significant amendments, so it's necessary for them to be presented in the forum again. If a proposal has uh, irrelevant changes, then you can skip that stage. It doesn't have to come back to the forum, but in this case, we are going to present the form. So having completed then the eight weeks discussion and having been presented in the forum, we go to the first consensus. That's the second stage. There, the chairs collect, get all the information that they collected uh, of the mailing list and the public policy forum, and they decide whether the community agreed or not, whether there was consensus. And then we'll describe what consensus is. And there, you define whether this proposal reached consensus or not. That's the, that's up to the two chairs that are elected by the community itself. Now, let's assume that we reach consensus. If the chair concludes that the community agrees to move forward with the proposal, then we have a four-week uh, stage for the very final comments. It is uh, speak now or uh, keep your mouth shut for uh, your mouth shut forever. So, if there are any comments that have not been said during the previous eight weeks, well, now you have a chance to make comments about them. I forgot to say that the chairs in the second stage have two weeks to collect all the information and to understand and to report whether a consensus was reached or not. In the second stage for comments, 
for a week long, there may or may not be new comments in the list, and then you go to a second consensus stage. That is, the chairs there have one week to determine whether the proposal has definitely reached consensus. It's been the case that there have been proposals that have reached consensus, while others even in the second stage, there were comments sending it back to the beginning. Before we go to item five, let me tell you that if any of the stages, even in item five, in, state, in, in the fifth stage, if the proposal does not reach consensus, you have to start all over again. You go back to step one. The author has the possibility of redrafting the text or removing the proposal from uh, the policy system. So if you look at uh, the uh, uh, at website of LACNIC, there are proposals that have seven, eight versions and others where we have a working group with authors that are working jointly so that similar proposals may be merged into one. The authors at all times have the power of uh, withdrawing the proposal if they repent and they can remove it from uh, the public for uh, the, the PDP. And the last stage, five, the LACNIC's board ratifies the proposal. So the community decides that the proposal reached consensus and the board ratifies or not. I think that there was only one case in history where it was not ratified by the board of the hundreds of proposals that we've uh, discussed in our history. And then the proposal goes to the implementation stage. And implementation may be immediately or quite fast if you have just, just have to change a, a bit of the text in the manual or if the proposal has a, um, uh, in, implies uh, changes in the systems or in other NIRs, well, it may take longer. But basically, that is the PDP. It was developed by a community itself, and as a matter of fact, it was the community, it's the community that has uh, the power to, to amend it. That is why, what I said, the full proposals are uh, to change the manual. Yes, and you can even submit proposals of policies that may amend previous proposals. Maybe in the past, uh, a consensus was reached, but uh, as time went by, things changed, and uh, you may want to change it. So it's not written in stone. So do you want to take the floor now? There is no consensus here among the chairs. Should we leave? So we've been talking about consensus all the time. Now, what is consensus? First, we, we say what consensus is not. Here, we don't vote. You'll see, and we clarify this all the time, and we'll uh, uh, what we call it gauging temperature, measuring temperature. We ask people to raise your hands. If you are uh, online, you'll uh, see a Zoom po poll. And, and, and here, it's not that you get more votes. For consensus to be reached, the proposal needs to be supported by significant uh, opinions after a uh, broad um, discussion where there are no irrefutable uh, technical objections. So we don't measure number. If all of the audience agrees, but one person saw that there was an issue and that's a, it ha and, and presents the rationale and it's on solid grounds, then no consensus will be reached, even if the entire community was in favor. That is why uh, the chairs have such a difficult role. It's quite comp that's quite complex, and very often uh, it uh, implies analyzing many things and many documents. Okay, so what happened uh, since uh, the LACNIC 36 forum, the last hybrid forum? There are several proposals at the different stages. Two proposals were merged. LAC 2019-7 and LAC 2029. Well, a working group was created to work on them. This is the first time that we use this process, the working groups. And so we call on the community 
to put together a smaller forum, a working group, to analyze similarities and differences between the different proposals so as to consolidate them in a single proposal to be submitted to the community. So really, we've worked very well. We still we continue to work with the working group. It uh, has uh, six members, several of them are authors and uh, people in the community that are interested in the process. Now, then, there are two proposals that have been withdrawn or abandoned. Well, we didn't know whether to use the word abandoned. Uh, it was uh, the uh, um, changes in the PDP to improve the quality of the proposals, and the, the other one, too, is to abandon uh, IPv6 uh, for uh, um, uh, uh, to add operational IPv6 as a requirement for IPv4 transfers. And then uh, we uh, have uh, the update of recovery and uh, re returning resources and consistency with the rest of the manual, then uh, amending uh, item 2.3.2 uh, in 19 and 4.3, inclusion of the uh, ASN of origin, the who is whenever available. You see that the topics and the proposals are, there's quite a range, some are quite specific, while others Others are quite generic, We're discussing more topics. What else happened since the previous forum, since LACNIC 36? Oh, I have a laser here. Please understand that he's getting old. Bear with him. Okay. We have several proposals seven proposals, as a matter of fact, that did not reach their first consensus, and they are there. Actually, six, well, seven. So we call the authors to tell us whether they're going to present a new version or if they plan to withdraw it from the uh, process. Again, there are several topics as uh, the, uh, uh, the the uh, list uh, policies, uh, the uh, users, the definition of users, another one was to improve the quality of the proposals and the participation of uh, the uh, PDP. There were different uh, versions. If the authors can contact us to see how we follow with the proposals, we would appreciate. <coughs> Manual for the uh, FPP use, the Public Policy Forum, once again. We're going to insist once again. Both the people who submit proposals and who ask the questions will speak in their native language. We have simultaneous interpretation into Portuguese, Spanish, and English. And live transcription as well, so that you can read. Let us respect the times allocated by the chairs. The speakers will have time allocated to them. The same with questions and answers, as well as LACNIC, which conducts the impact analysis. They have time slots for these presentations. So in the effort of trying to listen to everyone, we'll prioritize the diversity of voices. In other words, if someone has a question to the author, you can do so through the Q&A. You can do so raising your hand or through the microphone. You can address that person. If you have a second question, but there are other people who are queuing to ask questions or who are asking for clarification, priority will be given to those people who haven't taken the floor yet. So once those people have spoken, if there are no more requests for the floor for the first time, the person who asked a question already will be given the floor a second time. Life cycle of the presentation of each proposal. These are the times. In this forum, we'll have quite a lot of time. We have four proposals. We have several blocks. So presentations will be allocated 
20 minutes, they will be highlighting the most important point. The authors won't be reading out the entire proposal, but just what is being proposed. Following that, we have the impact analysis. There is, will be done by LACNIC's staff. Mariela Rocha will come up and check the impact analysis measured by LACNIC's staff. Following that, the discussion is opened. These are questions to the authors. He clarified that this is not in the proper order on the slide. So in the discussion, this can be done through the microphone or through the Q&As. And when you ask your questions, state whether you support the proposal or not. You should have a, an opinion on it. And if you don't support it, state why. It's very important to explain the reason why. Following that discussion, which, about, which will be about 25 minutes long, we will check the time. So we'll try to prevent one to one questions, so times will be allocated for questions. I think we have established two minutes, and the answer of, answer of the author will be from two to three minutes. So following the discussion, we will measure the temperature in the room once again. We'll ask who is in favor, who is against, abstentions. We're going to ask you to bear with us because we'll be counting the this in the room and also through Zoom. For those people who are following us by Zoom, you will have a pop-up on the screen. In Spanish, it might say voting. We are measuring the temperature. If nobody supports it and everyone is against, this does not mean that there is no consensus. But we really want to perceive what the community, how the community feels about this proposal. That's what we call measuring the temperature. So the agenda now. So the time is expressed in UTC, so the people who are following the conference remotely can check what time it is. Those who are here have to just take away five hours from that time. So we will now look for the first proposal, which is 2022-1 unified texts that apply both IP4 and IPv6. The list of uh, with Ricardo Patara, we will have a report on the SOC. We're not going to ratify the elected chair at the end of the session, and as usual, an open mic so that the community can tell us what they think or whatever they wish. The proposals are 2022. 1 version 1, 2020, 10 version 2, 2021, 4 version 2, and 2022, 2. So we're going to organize a bingo, the LACNIC bingo, the IPv6 bingo. All those of you who wish to check with this QR, this will take you to our website. There is a bingo. There will be wonderful prizes. So during the bingo, we're going to tell you in the, as we go along, we're going to say words that are quite common. For example, sergeant in arms, bate papo, nano, bananero, policy modification, mailing list, PVP. So those who have bingo shout out IPv6, and you will be rewarded with a T-shirt. And here we have the notary who is checking. So don't cheat. So now let us start.